apologies again, I've been slack and didn't manage to get a vlog up last week, so this will be another two in one. Um, last week my weigh-in was a bit strange, I always step on the scales like two or three times to make sure it's always the same number, and almost always it is, and then last week it was like plus one and then minus one and then it was just all over the place, I don't know what was going on. Um, and anyway I recorded it as in the end after getting a couple of the same as um, minus half a pound so I think that brought me to 16 stone 5 and then this week um, I did the same thing but it was accurate every time I stepped on it and it said I'd gained one and a quarter pounds but I always round up so I recorded it as one and a half pounds um, I'm not entirely sure that my reading from the week before was that accurate um, because of like the changes, I don't know what was going on, I always do the exact same thing and like, I'm completely wearing nothing, I'll like, hold on to this railing thing while I step on the scales, let go, give it a few seconds and then do it and it counts it down and it doesn't start counting until you're still, so I, I'm, yeah I just have no idea really. Um, but because of the first week's sort of like offish reading, I think I had an idea of where my weight was going and it wasn't like a good loss and it's been, you know, just wavering on that same little bit for like a while now, about a month now. Um, and I was like, do you know what? F it. Um, I'm having a cheat weekend and I don't know if you've seen on Instagram, I starting to see, started seeing this guy called Sean who is lovely, we like him a lot, so far, so good. Um, but yeah he was down for the weekend and I was just like do you know what I just want to have a cheat night so I said pick Friday or Saturday so we picked Friday he came later than planned but we had Domino's a snap chat draw I ate um, I ate like a third of a Domino's pizza the meteor and the sauce the garlic and herb dip and I had a double cheeseburger and some chocolate and the next day I carried on eating badly because I'd already bought some like co-op equivalent of kettle chips like a big bag now I only had like probably no more than one packet of little crisps but I had it with like um, a sour cream and chive dip um, so I had two flavours like probably you know one bag equivalent of a small bag of each and I was left with loads at the end still I wish I'd sort of sent a photo and uploaded that of what I'd left and binned, um, I actually ended up, one of the flavours was something like sea salt and cider vinegar or an equivalent and it's one of those flavours that hurts your tongue if you eat too much of it and I really miss that, I used to literally eat half a bag up to a whole bag a night, like not every night but when I bought them, so what I did was I just like licked off the salt and vinegar flavour and then disposed of the crisps, I mean Obviously I still gained, but eventually, I don't know, I just really wanted the flavour and I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to lick the flavour off. That is how desperate I was. Yeah, and then that um, Saturday night as well, Carnival got cancelled, well we cancelled our entry because of the weather, um, and I ended up having a naughty Chinese instead of a good Chinese. So, um, yeah, I mean it was only one meal, and I had boiled rice, and I've been on Diet Coke the whole weekend. But, you know, I had to expect a gain. Um, but then I kind of was like, maybe I won't because I had two carnivals, the Wednesday and the Thursday, and each of them burns over a thousand calories. And I don't know, I just thought I might have managed it. I still went to Zumba, I think, on the Tuesday. No, I didn't do Zumba because I had the carnival and I did a run on the Monday. Um, oh, I got my hair done. You'll notice I've got my hair down to here rather than off camera. Um, yeah, that's why I didn't go on Tuesday, because I didn't want to mess up my new hair. It's a bit bad, isn't it? Um, but yes, anyway, um, wavering on that annoying little bump. So I think I've now just dropped under my five and a half stone. I believe it would take me to a loss of five stone six. But I will do the maths and put them all below in the description as usual. Um... Because I was like, man, my losses are a bit crap, 
So I did my measurements again. Um, these were taken on the 25th of August, um, just after I did my sort of before and after pictures. And the last one before that was the 15th of July. Um, and in that time, it's been a further two inches off my hips, two and a half off my waist, quarter inch off my bust. Thighs stayed the same, but they feel very different. Um, they do feel like leaner. Um, um, so they've always been a bit of a weird one, and so I thought what I'd do when I look at the picture when I do this, one arm always looks massively bigger than the other. So I thought I'd start measuring my right and my left. Um, but before they measured at 14 inches, and actually, that must have been taken on my left arm. Um, no, my right arm. Oh no, what we did was we took a measurement from like the fattiest part and then from the armpit as well, which I don't really think will change, but like it's just so we can't confuse the measurements and get them in the wrong place because I feel that's one of the most inaccurate recordings. Um, but really, both of the measurements are up from last time. Um, I don't know if skin's sagging more, maybe it's just dropping rather than toning up. So I definitely need to work on my upper arms. Um, my ankle's gone down half an inch. My knee's gone down a quarter inch. My neck's the same, really. Um, and there's a few that I haven't done in quite a long time. But yeah, I mean, the measurements are all going the right way. So if you have a bad week, some time or a month or whatever maybe just like look at measurements as well because that will show that things are changing even if it's a bit like <laughs> um so yeah i thought thought i'd do that i mean i should have done them yesterday and then given you an accurate one yesterday but i don't know i still feel like although my weight's different like i feel a bit different in my legs and stuff like they feel i don't know leaner on my thighs and that and I feel like photos look different. People are definitely noticing a difference and it's weird. I had, I put up some pictures. Oh, I put pictures up regularly on like, Instagram and Facebook, but um, it's a different group of people on Instagram. Instagram's pretty much Slimming World and then Facebook is like my home friends and like school and whatever. Um, so I put this picture up with me and Sean um, with some meerkats at the zoo. Um, I will pop the footage of the meerkats in at the end because I thought it was really cute and nice to see. Um, but all the comments were like, oh my god, you look amazing. There was no one, barely anyone spoke about the meerkats. Um, poor Sean didn't get a comment. <laughs> um, but they were saying like, not just, they're like, oh, you look lovely before, but you look amazing now. And it's not looks, it's confidence. Um, which is meant, and like someone else was like, yeah, I agree. And then someone else said, yeah, like me too. Like a few people said that same thing. And I'm getting that comment kind of frequently, which is really strange. And I've not noticed a difference massively, but then I still feel like that fat mentality that I've spoke about before. So, hey, I mean, yeah, I'm liking um, the way I'm changing in photos and stuff. My friend sent me a picture from New Year's Eve. So I started Slimming World something like the 6th of the sixth of March. Um, but these were obviously taken like three months before. And honestly, I, it was like, I don't remember being that fat. Um, I think you get used to just seeing yourself every day so you don't notice massive changes. I mean, they're not attractive. This one's not too bad, but the other one is horrific. So, should I turn the brightness off as well? Let's see if you can see it. Obviously, the like yellow glow is before, and the kind of whiter, paler one is after. I don't think this photo really shows it justice, um, but you can definitely see a difference, especially with my dimples and um, my chin shape. I feel like my eyes are looking more open. Um, like when I would smile before I'd be like I was just like little Chinese slits um, yeah and I mean this is a horrific picture and it's it's a terrible photo um, 
but uh, if I laughed or like I did get that huge neck and I don't remember that and it's just that's just after New Year's that was like January sometime um, versus last week but I thought I would share that with you marvellous my lights just gone thanks son cheers a lot um, I say I'm a lot don't I sorry so yeah um, I've not got a massive amount to talk about I'm off to best of all this weekend I'm going on Friday um, and I'm camping until the Monday morning um, yeah last time I did festival it was a complete cheat week and I maintained and I drank alcohol and I ate pizza and it did not agree with me at all it wasn't like bad but it didn't sit well um, but this time one because of my budget being a lot smaller and two because I really just want to try and be as good as possible I'm not going to drink I don't need alcohol to have a good time and relax like I just don't need that at all um, and it's a lot of effort to like wheel the time when you're at a festival and no I'm just not going to drink alcohol and I'm going to try and prepare my own breakfasts I mean I'll attempt swimming world as much as possible but um, yeah I'm going to take a camping stove and I've bought lots of like um, what are they called like mugshot type things they sell mugshots on the go which are like pot noodles basically um so i bought some of those um and some bachelor's pastas which i'll have to do without milk on a little stove um so yeah that's going to be my weekend which i'm really excited about um sean's going to come with me we're going to camp and it's going to be really fun um and then I'll, i will try and buy one meal per day um and <gasps> try and go as healthy as possible with that choice um yeah and hopefully all will be fine and on tuesday i will have a lovely way in but we will see how that goes um yeah sorry if you don't like the hair um a lot of you were like oh my god i've got hair envy blah 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 but honestly um it was just unmanageable it was that long it took so long to brush and it was just so much effort and seriously being able to just get it through like that in the morning and literally you've just got that one little tug per like chunk of hair rather than having to go at the bottom and then working up a bit and then doing a bit more and it's so painful and it's all pulling i haven't got that problem anymore and it's easy to manage i can wear it down without getting stinking hot and i just enjoy it a lot better so yeah, that was the hair decision and I'm actually really happy with it. I really, really love it. The hairdresser was like, are you sure? I was like, honestly, I need it off. And then she brushed it and she was like, okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> it just wasn't a happy <laughs> hair anymore. Um, yesterday I popped into town with a friend and she went into New Look, which is just a shop I would never think of looking in for clothes because I was plus size and only certain ones hold the plus size range and it's a really bad plus size range anyhow um, in terms of the cut um, but I bought this it was the only one I'm seriously obsessed with it um, and yeah it's just like really retro and I just love it it's a size 18 I bought it off the shelf you know it's big it probably would have been able to go down a size but I like it to fit my hips nicely so you know it's fine um I think this style can be oversized and look cool so this is like my new happy happy purchase and I bought another jumper as well which I posted on Instagram yesterday um and yeah it was just really nice to just be like oh I like that oh look it's my size so yeah this was an 18 the other jumper was a large um and it all fitted nicely so that was very exciting um, I've been clearing out loads of old clothes so basically I was like mum my mum could easily just take clothes in for me it's not a problem like just um, you know get the overlocker out and take a, an inch or so in each time but I just don't like my old clothes anymore I don't know if they just remind me of being huge or really unha unhappy or if I just bought them because they were in store and they fit me rather than having to like I don't know try and find something similar in a plus size version and pay three times the amount for it and yeah 
but I also came across like three pairs of jeans. Now one is a size 22 long leg from Dorothy Perkins and they fit-ish. I can get them on fine. They're completely baggy in the wrong places. They're tight on the calves. Um, one were a size 20 long and I still couldn't get them on mainly because of the calves. I feel like, what could I get them on? No, I couldn't get them around my calves and but I think waist wise they would have been okay because my shorts from there are 20 and they're okay and then <coughs> there was a pair of jeans that I bought at Christmas um, from New Look all of these clothes still have a tag on so if anyone would like to try them send me your posted money and you can have them um, 22 long black jeans they're skinny um, I can just get them over my calves they are miles too big I'm not kidding if this is my back and my, say my bum sticks out you know to here the waistband literally sat in line with my bum so I'm not kidding there was like a gap this big between my back and the waistband of the trousers and yet they were completely ill-fitting everywhere except they were tight on my calves and I said to my friend you know they just don't cut clothes right for bigger people and I know everyone's gonna grow fat in different places and like no one no two bigger plus size people will look the same everything just hangs in different places and that's fine but I have never found a pair of trousers bar those that are ultra stretchy because they stretch to where they need to which is why we wear them um I've never had a pair of plus size trousers that fit properly and my friend said she that her relative is um, someone that cuts like the patterns for fashion um, and she said once someone gets to a size 16 or 14 the pattern has to completely change for plus size it has to be reshaped everything is just different and she said they don't, they just carry on the increments that they started with from like a size 6 to a size 14 or 16. And she said that's just the way it works. And they know they're doing it and they know that's not what should be done. But they're still making these ill-fitting clothes and charging a fortune for them because they've got that, that niche in the market. And there's enough companies now that offer this plus size range and I just don't think it's good enough. I know... I'm shrinking down to like, you know, make myself feel better um, and that's not going to be an issue that affects me massively, hopefully not too lo in not too long, but that, it's just not fair, like why should people have to pay so much more for plus size that doesn't even fit properly, does anyone else find this because I, I literally just, it just really winds me up like massively, so yeah, I want to start some like campaign for like designers to pull their finger out and work that bit harder that you're charging for that service so make the money's worth like it just doesn't make sense anyway that's my rant and yeah i'm sure none of you are still watching at this point but if you are thank you i appreciate all the thumbs up i'm still getting that one person doing the thumbs down mate just please stop watching if you don't like it I'm convinced it's one person that's got a vendetta and they're just like, no matter what I do, I think they're just not going to like it. And I guess that's fine. That's, I put myself online, that's a risk. But it's just annoying. Just stop watching. It's just negativity that I don't need in my life, sir. F off, please. Yeah. So anyway, um, I hope you're all doing really well and having better luck than me this past few weeks. Um, hopefully, I feel like I'm due to have a biggish drop now. I'm talking like four or five pounds. Uh, I feel like it's it's my time for a bigger loss, and I am being strict. I'm ha I'm having my sins that I'm entitled to have, but I'm I feel I'm entitled to it. So it would be nice, body, if you wouldn't mind giving me a bit of help now because I'm a bit crazy about it. Um, yeah, good luck. I hope it's all going really well. Comment me how you're doing if you're not someone like I like follow um and yeah get on instagram if you're not already because honestly i was bored of my hex a and b choices the other day and i just go i just you um 
in the search bar on Instagram, I just typed in healthy extra A, healthy extra B, and everyone that's ever hashtagged something comes up, and you can see all these different things that you never knew you could have or didn't think of trying, and it's just a really good idea to mix it up a bit. Um, yeah, so I um, found out pro coconut milk chocolate flavoured something like that and it was really yummy and totally worth it so yeah enjoy good luck stay strong and join my campaign for better fitting clothes for the bigger people thank you This one, if you just touch anywhere on the screen, yeah. it will take the picture. But if we could do it with like the I've definitely still got some on my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is some up in, mate. Come up. <laughs> 